arrived at Bristol Airport with the Domino's pizza, been through the x-ray, security. You've got pizza. Are we just waiting to have a coffee? What well, looks like a really nice bar. Today we go to holiday, it's three nights and four days. Yeah. Very excited about that. <laughs> and now I want coffee first. Yeah, so we got two lattes coming. Yes. Everybody wants my pizza. We're in Gibraltar. We're not going to have to spend the weekend in Gatwick and Rose's golden ticket, the multiple entry UK visa, has allowed her to come into Gibraltar. How good is that? We're waiting to cross the road. <laughs> across the airport. Go to our hotel, we're going to walk. 20 minutes later. We haven't seen anyone. We've been given a code to enter the building. And we've been given a code to lockbox the use key. Turn the key again, Rose. The way. Again, same. Yeah, and again, and again. One eternity later. Push, push, push. <laughs> wow, what have we got? Let's have a look. Welcome. Look at our room. How cool is this? Hello, Rose. Really <laughs> cool. We've identified there is only one wine glass. So we're drinking wine out of champagne glasses. One red wine glass. Cheers, Rose. Cheers, Dave. Come all the way to Gibraltar from Wales, from time, to end up drinking Singha beer. Singha Songkwad in a Thai restaurant on our first night. Cheers, Rose. Songgao. Tomorrow. I just wanted to give you a quick tour of this most amazing service department that we've booked into. Come and have a look. So it's only it's only a studio, so it's it's quite a small space. I'm guessing about sort of 25 square meters, something like that. We've obviously got the sofa here. We'll come back to that in just a moment. Little kitchen. Look at this. Kitchen behind the cupboard. Amazing, hey? So, a little kitchen, it's got everything built in, so you've got your storage here. Check it this out inbuilt fridge and even a dishwasher. How cool is that? All right, let's put the kitchen back now. Little table here. Obviously, this can fold down. And then, the most amazing thing here for me is this sofa. So you might be wondering where the bed is. Let me show you. Amazing storage. Check it out. I love it. I want one of these for my bedroom. Amazing. So it's obviously you've worked it out by now. It's a sofa bed. And this is how it was set up when we arrived last night. Watch this, okay? This entire shelf wall. The shelf is the foot of the bed. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> and now, you have the most amazing bed. Check it out. Washing machine. Water heater. Some storage space there for utilities. Let's take a look at the bathroom. There you go, have a look at that. All brand new, all beautiful. Last thing to show you is the view that we have. One hour later. We come to see Monkey. We're at the top of the rock of Gibraltar, 
it's uh, early morning, we've just got the cable car up, and look at the view. All right, let's walk. I'll let you walk first. Baby monkey, look at that. We show you now. Oh. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the sea and Morocco, I guess. Over there somewhere, Africa. And then over here is Spain. Look at the views, we've been quite lucky with the weather. We've just seen all the apes, which we're calling monkeys for rose. We're going to go for a two hour walk down the mountain. This is pretty nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Last time, what do you think? I like it. What have we got? Chicken and tortilla, which is a Spanish omelet. This is really nice. And we have Coca Cola. <laughs> Don't look down. We're on the top. We're on the Windsor, Windsor Bridge now, Sapan. 
Yes. And it's a suspension bridge. And it is moving a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna try and <laughs> video it. Oh, it's actually quite high up. <laughs> yeah, this is adventurous, isn't it? Why didn't we just walk? There's a path over there. Yeah, you want to see Dan? Okay, that's enough of that. Six hours later. Where are we, Rose? Super hot. It's really tired. Yeah, we've walked all day, haven't we, basically? Yeah, it's really, it's really hot. Yeah. Yeah. And now we we're... Walk all day. Now and we're going to walk down the steps. Back. Come on, then, let's go. Apparently there's a lot of steps down there. <laughs> this is the fastest way to the city. Eventually. So I said to Rose this morning, wear shoes that are suitable for walking up and down mountains. And what did she wear? Show me what shoes you wore, Rose. Fashion boots. And what happened to your shoes? Show me. Okay, now. Walk too much. And that is why you should listen to David. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next time you listen to me. <laughs> Never mind, you did very well to walk today. Well done. We've been walking all day and now it's time for this. Ice cream. Ice cream. And now we're down in the square, look at that. Mm -hmm. okay. ตื่นเต้นมากเลยค่ะเพราะว่ามีส้มที่นี่ในเมืองมีหนึ่งต้นสองต้นสามต้นสี่ต้นห้าต้นหกเจ็ดแปดFirst night in Gibraltar, we've been up the rock, we've seen the monkeys, we've walked until we can walk no more, and now we sat down next to the marina. Rose is going to get her fill of seafood, and I'm going to have a steak. Um, Cheers, Rose. Yeah, I'm going to peel off the sauce. Yeah, a very successful first day in Gibraltar. Cheers. Ah. Oh, that's so good. I don't have anything to say because I'm so tired to walk all day. I'm going to sleep on my shoulder.
Hotel, which is actually a, a cruise boat, which is shored up in Gibraltar. It's been here for five years, and we've got behind us the Rock of Gibraltar, obviously. Uh, and because we're in the low season, we're on our own. So as you can see, I'm at the pool bar, but we're the only ones here. We've been out on the boat, we've seen, how many dolphins did we see? In English. 30. 30 dolphins? Really? Okay, Rose saw 30 dolphins. <laughs> I saw about 8, I think. No jumping, just, you know, doing this. But it was good, wasn't it? It was okay. And uh, where we are, we've got the place ourselves still. It turns out that there's a cruise ship just over there which has been stopped in quarantine because somebody on the cruise ship has got the coronavirus suspected. Uh, and so a lot of the activities for the afternoon will be cancelled. So we've just holed up in this empty bar, which we've got all to ourselves. And we're going to enjoy a nice quiet drink and just relax for the rest of the afternoon. Cheers, Rose. Cheers. 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 Detail. We walked for two days solid. Rose's feet have holes in. I can hardly move my legs. We just went back to the room for a short nap. Woken up, it's 9 p.m. So the choice is, do we get doled up, go out, sit in a restaurant party, or, do we just go to McDonald's, which is literally just across from our room? Day four. later. Welcome to France Rose. Our flight's been diverted from Bristol after two unsuccessful aborted attempts at landing and so we've been diverted to Bordeaux and <laughs> now we're in France. Rose has been issued with an emergency Schengen visa which allows her to stay in Europe for one night, two days. Amazing. So now we're waiting uh, along with all of these lovely people here There are three cancelled or three flights that haven't worked out for whatever reason and now we're just waiting to see where they're going to take us. Maybe we'll go to a hotel, maybe we'll just get a taxi into town and get some red wine yes. and some cheese. Party! <laughs> Vin rouge et fromage. <laughs> yeah, so excited about that. Amazing problem for me. Pas de problème. What's <laughs> mean? No problem. Ah, uh, yeah. Happy, happy. Happy, yeah. happy, yeah. Don't worry. All of these people not so happy. <laughs> Two thousand years later. Welcome to Bordeaux, France. So we flew from Gibraltar to Bristol. The wheels did touch the runway in Bristol and then took off, landing aborted. Had another go at it, landing aborted, and then they needed to divert the flight. Couldn't divert anywhere in the UK because of the storm. And so they've diverted us to Bordeaux in France. We've waited 
it seems like maybe two and a half, three hours. Um, the airline unfortunately had computer malfunction, of course, and couldn't find hotel rooms for everyone, so we've made our own way. We found the Ibis Budget Hotel. Check it out. This is my bed. This is where I'll be sleeping tonight. And Rose will be up here. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. And now we're going to go out to the much more expensive hotel, the Mercure, over the road and have some food. And then we don't know how we're going to get back to the UK just yet. But I'm really hoping that the EasyJet app and the text messages and the emails will start in the next four hours or so. But at the moment, we've left about 300 frustrated tourists who have all had either cancelled flights, diverted flights, have all come to Bordeaux, which is the nearest safe passage from the storm in the UK. Um, and nobody, nobody knows anything. So rather than just stand like lemons outside in a queue, we've decided to basically check in, make our own way. And let's see what happens tomorrow, because nobody knows, even the people at EasyJet. They don't know what's happening. So it's um, you've got to wear a smile about it. You've got to stay good humour. There are lots of people that aren't good humour, that have lost their humour big time. Very scant information, uh, so we'll see what happens tomorrow. So let's enjoy our dinner and our room. We're not going to go into the city because apparently it's about a 40 minute bus ride away. Look at the time now, it's half past eight in the evening, so we're going to spend 40 minutes on a bus going to town. It's all closed apparently on a Sunday night and then 40 minutes back, so we're just going to stay local and relax. 12 o'clock midnight. We tried the restaurant at the Mercure Hotel. Unfortunately, they've only got one member of staff who's doing the bar and the restaurant, ordering, delivering the food. Gad <laughs> seems like to do room, room service reservations as well, and maybe even cooking the food. So we sat there, saw a load of dis <laughs> disgruntled Brits uh, who had been waiting an hour for their food, so we decided to give up. We got clever. Thank you, Google. We called the local pizza delivery company and. We have pizza. Eventually.